know, Dr. You know, give me a little bit of time to get out of the gas or he's going to get the fun out. All right, I'll talk to him. That ain't going to do any good, Ty. No. No. The emotions are running very, very high right now. I'll talk to him maybe next Friday. Yes, yeah. <laughs> at Darlington. And now the call goes out on the NASCAR radio for the driver and crew chief of the 22 to go to the big red truck and the race is over. That big red truck is going to be busy, I oh, think, Oh, it's going to be. All right, let's see if we can see what happened and why Ward is so upset. On board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Come off turn two, start down the back stretch. Jr. gets a run. He thinks he has enough, but just barely makes contact with Ward. Bam! In the wall. And that's why. But there was contact. And here Twice. we go. Well. He's got a better throw than Alan Beswick. Probably does. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> man, oh, man. Uh, oh. Burton was forced to go to the infield care center award. What happened? Uh, Junior just didn't take his time. I mean, we've been giving and taking out there all day. I got some really good words for him, but I can't say it on TV, but <laughs> I got to just control myself right at the moment. You sent a nice message, though, with the throw. I wish I had something like a shot to the <laughs> window. Uh, and Ward's pretty good <laughs> with, uh, with those things, too. So that yeah, Junior probably... should be glad he yeah. didn't have anything to shoot through the window. And Harvick and Bush. <laughs> He's after him. Yeah, this 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 has just started now. Kyle says, I have no idea. You gotta have to It's not gonna happen too good. There was a pass, there was contact, and then as Boyer went into the fence, Kyle Bush came and turned Kevin Harvick around. We know Harvick is he 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 plays rough. Especially when races over with. I've seen him climb over people's cars to get to them. We've got cars overheated. We've got drivers overheated. <laughs> and we got wrecked cars. And Bobby Labonte crashed on the final lap. Harvick looking in his mirror. Shuts the switches off. Something's going to have to give here, boys. This we thought it could be. Newman and Montoya. Turns out it's Harvick and Bush. And they are still stopped way up at the turn four end of Pitt Road as Regan Smith does his victory lap. And Harvick's going to put the steering wheel back on. I think Harvick was getting ready to hop out of that thing. I think somebody must have gotten to him. No, nope. nope. wheels oh, off man. again. Here, here he comes. comes. He says, okay. This is an, I'm going back here and we're going to have a little talk. And there goes his car. That come car just took off. Holy smoly. That's Darlington. Fireworks. Fireworks in the air are the least of it. Meanwhile, tempers overflow back in the garage area between Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch's team do that several times just turn that thing down to the bottom line and Harvick and Logano taking their frustrations out in sheep metal as they come to pit road and now there will be a discussion you notice that Harvick hadn't taken his helmet off no, but I like that the crew members, while standing guard, they're content to let the two drivers talk it out. Here is the cause of the upset. 
between Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick. Yeah, when I said that, I thought Harvick's car might be aerodynamically challenged getting into turn three. I thought that's what put it up the racetrack. But I think you can see <laughs> a lot like what Jamie McMurray was talking about. My car don't turn so good, my rear wheels are off the ground. Well, he's watched the video. You also had a conversation. What was the discussion with Harvick? Ah, it's Kevin being Kevin, like he is the instigator, uh, like everywhere else we go. So. <laughs> New Year, same stuff. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's trying to help, really, to be honest with you. You know, we had a run, he's going to keep pushing, and um, apparently his car was tight. I was doing the same thing with the 78 all night, and it was working. Uh, but I just, we got in the corner, and he got tight, and um, he got into the fence, and I was just trying to help. And... Uh, he doesn't understand I was trying to help. I understand his, his frustration, but I was trying to help out and try to get to the front and try to win this thing. It's no points or anything like that. You know, you go for the win. The second place, third place, fourth place doesn't mean anything. So uh, we're just trying everything we can do. All right, thanks, Joey. Chris? Well, Kevin Harvick not happy with the 22, pushing you up into the wall there, and it got pretty heated. What did you say to Joey? I just told him I didn't appreciate it. You know, there's... You, can, you know where you can push and how you can push and, and how far you can push, and you can't push them all the way into the corner up against the fence. So uh, just proud of my Jimmy John's guys. They fixed the car and did everything they needed to do. It was a hell of a race tonight, um, but, you know, just really dumb driving there at the end. So you ha you got to be aggressive, but you still got to use your head. You can't just detach it and lay it on the floorboard. Yeah, you know, and, and here's Joey's team trying to keep him calm down, and, and, and this is probably best. That's, that's Joy's dad. That's why Joy's dad's got his hard card pulled a couple of times. Let me just go ahead and say that. Yeah, but no, you know what? He needs to do this. He needs to vent. I mean, yep. Joy's been taken out so many times at the end of a race, whether it's a nationwide race or whatever. And, you know, he should be mad. Yeah. And, and, and I'm going I'm to say this in Joy's defense. You know, they were just racing, and I probably spoke too soon. I don't think it was Harvick's fault. I don't think it was Joy's fault. But Joy has to stand up for himself at some point in time. You know what I mean? We saw, you know, Burton last week say, I'm not going to take it anymore. I think you're seeing Joy say, I'm not going to take this anymore. Yeah. Especially from... I'm sorry. I should just pull over. I didn't know we were racing. You can't help but be a smart-ass, can you? Keep an eye on this. Oh, Robbie Contact. Gordon got into the back of Jeff Gordon. Caution is out. Mike Wallace gets spun around. And Jeff Gordon has damage to the right front fender. He's got damage to the car and lost about three or four spots. Sixth caution of the race. I don't think Jeff is going to be very happy about that. Well, let's see. Nope. Oh, there we go. He just knew that was coming. And now the 24 is going to be black flagged. I'd have take him out right now. <laughs> black flag, you'll have to come in. That's it. Go over pit road, I'm coming, buddy. He's a little hot. Yeah, 12 car was going slower. Let's see oh, if we got a good this. shot here. See? Oh, no, you're right. You know, I, right. I watched as it yeah. happened. Jeff just slowed down to take his time, and the 31 just ran over. I got Going inside. And here we, here we see Jeff drive up and let Robbie know how he felt about it, and, and I don't blame him. Now he pulls up beside him. Jeff Gordon back in the garage with a 15th place finish. I'm sure it's hard to put on a smile face right now, but was the contact from the 31 what spun you out? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. But uh, see, everybody thought you couldn't make me mad. You can make me mad. <laughs> Take I, I can. Uh, everybody. <laughs> um, you know, anybody, really. But that 31 certainly did today. Uh, he should be embarrassed right now to win that race. Uh, it was going to be a heck of a battle. I mean, it was between me and him anyway, you know. And uh, uh, I just wish it would have been done fair and square instead of just knocking a guy out of the way. And we had some lap traffic to go through. And you got to be patient. I don't care if there's 15 laps to go. you gotta, you got to know how to be patient. And, uh, you know, it just didn't happen that way. But I'm just so proud of these guys this year. Uh, it's been a it's been a blessing to be involved with this great race team. And, uh, you know, what an effort that was today. I think we showed them, you know, that uh, we weren't just going to come up here to New Hampshire and, and walk away. Uh, we wanted to come up here, show them what we're made of. And uh, that, was, that was just an awesome effort. Uh, just a shame. Any regrets on the retaliation? I was mad. Uh, you know, I mean, at the time. 
Hey, I, I understand why guys do that kind of stuff. Uh, I just wish I would have taken his, uh, you know, tire down or something. At least so he wouldn't have won the race. I, mean, I just didn't do a very good job of it. But you know, it's it's not what you want to do. It's not sportsman not like I know. But hey, man, I didn't think it's sportsman like what he did to me, and they didn't penalize him. So. All right, Jeff Gordon, obviously uh, with a smile on his face, but still a little disgusted with his 15th place finish. Tough questions. Jeff Gordon said, perhaps you should be embarrassed that you won this race in this fashion. I, I remember Jeff Gordon wrecking someone to win a race before, so I'm not embarrassed. I'm very proud to be driving the Lowe's car, and I can't wait to be driving this thing to the car next year. Among others that were on pit road, and there were some issues here. Watch, these, watch the 20 and the 15 leaving here. Yeah, I'm trying to think really why Tony's mad at the 15 car Paul Menard right now. Menard beat him out. Maybe that's why he's square. <laughs> and he's hitting again right now. Bam, another time. Hey, don't, don't, you know, these guys are getting frustrated. The chase for the championship is already starting to heat up right now. Hey, Tony's not done with him right yet. Let's get in here and, oh my gosh, give him, a, give him another whack right there. Oh. Now, why he would tear his own car up, I have no idea. Alan? You know, we talked about the tight confines down here on pit road, uh, guys, and, and Paul Menard is pitted in the spot in front of Tony Stewart. Well, Paul, trying to be cautious and not run over a couple of his crew guys, uh, didn't pull all the way up in his pit box, so Tony, who came in ahead of Paul, had to back up and go around him, and that's when you saw Menard pull out of his pit box and jump out in front of Tony. So Tony was a little upset that he had to stop and back up when he should have been ahead of, you know, how that, all that works, Rusty. Ty Dillon with the advantage. Elliott right on his back bumper. Look at the inside of 10. They make contact. Elliott spins the three. The three into the tires. And Chase Elliott trying to hang on. Across the stripe he'll go. Elliott wins in Canada. Mike Skeen has spun around. Max Pappas around. Ryan Blaney as well. Coming through turn 10. Hawk and Bra unofficially second. Paluto is third. Good job, bud. Good job. What an incredible finish. Chase Elliott will grab his first career win in just his six starts. And he got into the back of that three of Ty Dillon in turn 10. Nonetheless, what an outstanding run for Chase Elliott. Not sure what happened there. We know what happened on that last corner, last lap. He got to the positions, Phil. We saw skiing behind Pappas the last time we saw the trucks. When they got to the 10th turn, Pappas was ahead of, or excuse me, Skeen was ahead of Pappas, and Pappas hit him. Crew's not happy. You see Ty Dillon in the three, making his way back onto pit road. His crew trying to talk to the 94 crew. They're not trying to talk. I don't. I think yeah. there's going to be, there's going to be words. Mike Skeen in the six ends up. Hey, buddy, my about taking it easy at the beginning. Hey, buddy, make up your mind, all right? We'll speed up. You won't have that problem. Hey. Straight in the wall the next time you're anywhere near me. First time you're in the wall, you better get What'd you do? What'd you just do? What'd you just do to me? I owe you one now, buddy. Back in Thunder Valley, still under caution, and Jimmy Johnson's walked out of the infield care center. Jimmy, Robbie is saying on his radio that you missed a shift. What happened? Just like every form of racing he's ever been in, there's always it's always somebody else's fault. He had me turn sideways before we even took the green. I didn't even have a chance to grab a gear. He was beating my bumper cover off me coming to the green because he wanted to restart in front of me. I'm trying to get my lap back as well, so he's just crying up a river like he always does. It's a shame. We got a chance to win the championship, and we get, get spun out before we even take the green on a restart. It's just it's wrong. You can see the frustrations running high down here in the garage area, guys. by Jeff Burton in the left front. Get that pop off. The 29 car, Kevin Harvick, has heavy damage. Burton has damage. Two of the Richard Childress cars are running in the top 12, are sitting parked in turn one. Now Harvick's really mad at Montoya right now. He's parked in front of him. He's not going to let him move. They both got an issue. Let's see if they're going to fight. I'm going to see this. <laughs> All right. Montoya is upset. Harvick is not a guy you want to mess Kevin. with. Watch this. Oh, here we go. He's over there and got in the face. He's out of the car. 
Neither one of these guys are happy here. Harvick saying, no, stop it. Stop it. Montoya's the Montoya, instigating this thing Montoya now. Montoya keeps pushing him, and Harvick's not a guy you want to push car. too many times. Jeff Burden, Harvick's teammate, gets out of the car, helmet off, trying to get his teammate away. What was your interpretation of what happened? Well, uh, my interpretation was you just got run over. I guess the one ran over the 42, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things where uh, our Shell Pinsall Chevrolet was, was really good there at the end and, and just it felt like we'd saved our car enough to have a chance to win there and, and it all just goes up in smoke because, uh, you know, some people get impatient. But uh, just hate it. Uh, frustrated with 42. Just seems like it runs over somebody every week. It seems like emotions did escalate a little bit there. What were you guys talking about? I was talking about kicking his ass because that's how I felt about it. Well, you know, we had a very long first gear and our restarts were always slow and so a little disappointing because, you know, we had a really fast car so I went for the inside to defend the one car and he punned me, he just hit me behind on the braking and, and he spun me and when he spun me I collected the 29 and, you know, I got out of the car so the car was completely trashed and I went to Kevin and said, you know, it wasn't my fault, I got hit from behind and he's, you know, he started shouting and grabbing me and I don't appreciate that, you know. If it would 